Yeah, what's up guys, Sean here, aka I'm a Flying Midget, and welcome back to Smore Lumber Tycoon 2, guys. I've got this amazing thing to show you guys today. I'm so excited, I haven't even gone over there yet because I want it to be 100% legit, like awesomeness, ready? And boom! Look at that thing. Look at the size of that base. It's insane. I figured I had to show it off today, so that's what we're going to kind of do. Also, I've got a lot of base improvements I want to show you guys, so wait till you see that. Um, but we're going to kind of head over here. Now, this ba base is made by Cool Party Man 123 I like the name because my name's Sean and I like to party. Um, so we're going to head over here. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, my gosh. There was so much lag when it was, like, loading in. Look at these little fountains we got. Oh my gosh, I'm like losing frames a little bit running through here. What is this? Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, so now the thing is, it's just like sheer size. Like this, wow, he's got a nice little bar stool over here. Wow, this is pretty cool. This is pretty neat. Okay, um, <laughs> AFK chairs, I feel you. All the different types of wood, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, let's let's head upstairs. Let's head upstairs now. Um, now apparently there's an elevator in this thing, which is nuts. So I'm looking forward to that. But what is this little thing right here? Is this like a whoa? Just a little design. Oh, oh my gosh! It's a, it's a beach volleyball. It's a beach volleyball court. No way! I freaking love beach volleyball. And he's got like a net and everything. That is sick. That is too cool, dude. That is that is honestly too cool. And you got a little balcony out here with like a little tennis net. I think this is what this is supposed to be. Um, his wood goes all the way up to the top. What? That's nuts. That is too nuts. Okay, hold on. Let's. Let's hop back in here. Um, he's got the indoor pool. I feel that. I feel that. Um, oh, my gosh. A basketball court. We got Locust over here. Yo, holy cow. He's got the basketball court. This is insane. This is too cool, dude. Oh, my gosh. This is honestly insane. Okay. Let me see. Um, let me see. Show me the elevator. The elevator is probably so. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He's moving up. No way. No way! Look at how epic that is! <laughs> what? What? Can I? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. He told me to use it for five. Uh oh. Oh, geez. I was too late. I was too late. That's my bad. My bad. My bad. Okay. Okay, hold on. Once that thing goes down, I'll do it again. Okay, it's supposed to be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, running in. Running in. There we go. Okay. Um, was I not supposed to move? <gasps> Wait, it's moving me up. I can't zoom out for you guys to see. Oh, here we go. Look at me. Look at that. Look at that position. Okay. This is so cool. I didn't know this was a thing in, in Lumber Tycoon. This is honestly awesome. But I must got this thing timed perfectly. Holy cow. This is insane. Wow. 10 out of 10, dude. Oh, no. We got stuck. Oh, God. We got stuck. We got stuck. Oh, rip the dream, boys. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. I don't know how, um, is there any, well, let's, let's just go up the, let's go up the conveyor to get up there. Um, but that is pretty epic. You can make an elevator in Lumber Tycoon. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, we're going to kind of just just run on up here and see what we just kind of got rocking on top of his base. Obviously, as you can tell, it's not done yet. At least I don't think. Um, it looks like he's got more to do on this kind of top floor thing. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, so this is like a sorter. Okay. So this goes in here. This is where the elevator goes to, I believe. I believe. Yeah, this is where the elevator goes to. He's got this little room up here. He's still working on it. It's like his bedroom. I see that guy. The flag looks so good for me. Look at that flag. Mmm. America, baby. America. Um, wow, this is looking super sick. Five months to make this thing. Holy cow, big dog. This is insane. He's got another floor going up here. Oh, my gosh. Dude, we just need to take this all in. Let's go to the front. Let's take the... Oh, we got windows here. Oh, rip. Can't, can't YOLO it off. Oh, man. Oh, we can jump off right here. Dude, holy cow. This is insane. I thought getting wood was a pain for me. This is nuts. This is beyond nuts, dude. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. This base is insane. I gotta get a screenie for mom. And boop. There we go, boys. We got the screenie. That's insane. Okay, wait. Come down here. Wait, there's a basement. Oh, hello, boys. Hello. Wait, wait. Let's go this way. Coming in through here. Um, Where'd he go? Is he out back? Is there a backyard to this thing? What do we got? What do we got over here? What do we got? Whoa, what is this? What is this? What is this? A little clock thing? Oh, hello. Hello. Welcome. Here's the basement. Oh, it's where he parks his cars. Dude, what? Dude. This is like the epic party house. Like, what? 
This is so awesome. Oh my gosh, this is like all the basements all underneath. You got a storage on here. God, that's so cool. That is that is honestly too cool, dude. Honestly, this is this is one of the sickest bases I've seen. Oh, this is the power source lights go. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. This is too epic, man. This is legit too epic. Wow. I need one of these, man. I need a basement. Oh, these are doors. Oh, that's pretty cool. I need one of these. Um, Aiden, build me a basement, please. <laughs> that is so cool. Holy cow. Wow, man. The elevator itself is just so epic. This, The size of the base is so epic. I can't get over it. Any kind of sport you want, he's got it. I'm going to have to steal that idea from you, Um, honestly. Uh, cool party, man. I'm going to definitely have to steal the... Uh, the, the 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 volleyball court thing dude no way that is so epic that's an epic base dude that is an epic base thank you so much for letting me show that off i'm definitely gonna have to steal that sand volleyball thing maybe even the elevator because that elevator is too cool and once we build our super epic sky base we're gonna need that but dudes i told you and i delivered i told you i'd get this archway done well i did so that's pretty cool we got this archway done um i think what i'm gonna do is is kind of remove some of these wedges and basically make it work with the with the kind of garage thing since we don't have our own kind of basement um so we're probably gonna have to do that but that's right we'll kind of um that, that'll be relatively quick also i want to kind of show you guys this over here um where's all my rare wood is that all my rare wood i feel like some of it got deleted i don't know weird um, oh, maybe there's just some over here. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. I got so much stuff going on. But check this out. The grass is basically all done. Boom. I say basically is because it's got like a few more right here, which we're going to just finish up really quick right now. I'm going to finish up those kind of grass things. And then we're going to kind of work on the garage, kind of get it working in with that, that archway and stuff, dudes. Um, but like for the most part, we're actually making some good progress on the base. Um, some things that you guys can kind of look forward to, uh, like next episode, hopefully. <laughs> I say hopefully because I'm not 100% hopefully next episode I will be able to get this sawmill system working for you guys like like I'm gonna be doing like some insane insane kind of upgrades I'm gonna be getting I'm probably gonna be doing a video with Xenax I'm gonna get Xenax in here and uh, and he's like kind of going he's, he's been going beast mode on like a saw system so I'm hoping to get him in here and I'm hoping to um, kind of work on that and get like a really cool saw system going I got a good idea for it like I've been no 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 so I don't even I don't even want to talk about that, dudes. Um, I'm just gonna act like that didn't happen. Um, definitely did not touch it. So I'm gonna blame the server on that one. I don't think that I touched it. I just got really close. So I was gonna start chopping it and then rip the dream, and then all over the face, just just rip the dream. Okay, but while we let that bad boy cook, got significant lag on the server because of how epic that base is. It's insane. Um, but. So I'm going to let that thing cook. I'm going to kind of explain what we're going to do here, dudes. I'm going to kind of get rid of, like, I want to say three to four layers of this. And basically, we're going to extend the archway out in a flat pattern. And then finish finish the, um, the uh, whatever the heck you call it, the wedges kind of over the base here. Or over the garage, I say. And I kind of got to work on this thing and kind of get it going and get it perfect um, and all that. But it's going to take a little while to get this thing going. It was a good start that we had, but it got glitched out really quick. And I got to basically, I don't know, I got to finagle it back in. But I do still want to make that thing working. And I think what I'm going to do is have this part of my base, all the garage, like literally all right here, the garage. I think that should be big enough to hold like two trucks, a utility vehicle, maybe like some sleighs or something. I don't know, just some, kind of just some stuff in here. Um, and then over here, I'm thinking about doing the bedroom or something or, or working it up to like the balcony. And then I'm going to have like a balcony on the inside going all the way around here. I think that's what I want to do. But it is, I'm going to kind of have to wait for like the structure of the whole thing to kind of be done gonna take a while dude it's gonna take a really really long time but i'm getting somewhere like like the archway is done um and thanks to you dudes for i'm not gonna get even close with this thing oh my gosh that was close um but thanks to you dude so much for helping me get tons of birds that was that was ridiculously ridiculously helpful for me um that's why we, we really got i feel like this arch the second archway um was definitely a lot quicker than the first one that we did so that was kind of helpful um which was which was kind of nice there i'm gonna let aiden kind of crack away at this i'm gonna kind of join in on it bam Look at this efficiency, baby. Look at this efficiency, baby. Um, you know, I should probably whitelist the homie um, in case he wants to help out, too. There you go. There you go, fam. Um, oh, he's already he's already cracking away at these things. Boom. And boom. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. It's okay. We didn't lose this one. We didn't lose this one. We're good. We're good. Um, where are you chopping? Where are you chopping? Right there? I got you. Bam. Look at that. Done. Boom. Okay, wait. We got two more here. Um, we could just cut that dude in half, but I'm not going to be wasteful. So we're going to, whoop, rip the dream, rip the dream, rip the dream. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. 
Oh, I knew that was going to be 99. Or 93, wow. Okay. 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 Why don't you go ahead and throw that one in there, and we're just going to chop this guy right down the middle, because I can! Aiden's probably like, really? Really midget? <laughs> Alright, grass is done. There we go. Boys, squad, let's go. Grass is done. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to kind of work on the roof over here in this archway. Now, once I get this archway done, like I said, I'm going to be working on the sawmill so we can probably make getting the wood in the other archways like a lot smoother. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing, maybe what I'll do is make this whole thing the garage. I'm not sure yet. But what I want to do is at least get this section of the room the garage. Um, and once I get that section of the room kind of going on the garage, then... Um, I'm actually thinking, yeah, 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 because then, if anything, if I have to make that whole thing the garage, then I can basically make the house back here, or even on that whole side, like, I've got so much room to where, like, I could make the garage super, super, super big, so I might do that, I don't know, we'll see, maybe, like, a roadway going down the middle of the garage, and then, um, kind of, like, kind of, like, put, put stuff on the sides or something, I'm not entirely sure yet, um, this guy, I don't want you to glitch out, I'm just gonna kind of leave you right there, there we go, okay, so we're gonna need to move these guys, this is, like, oh, okay, midget, easy with the whole destroying, I did not mean to destroy that. I meant to move it. Now it looks like I'm just being super wasteful this episode. Holy cow. That was not what I meant to do. We're going to move these guys um, to here. I'm going to need... I'm still going to need so much birch. I love it how when you dudes get on the server now and you're like, Yo, Midget. Like, what do you need help with, man? I'm, and they're like, do you still need birch? Like, everyone already knows. Like, yes, I still need tons of birch, dudes. Okay, yeah, I'm going to make this guy... I'm going to make all of them go up. So I'm going to basically take his... I'm going to go down. I'm going to take this. I'm going to make them all go up. We have to make it go up at least two layers. So I'm going to actually probably just move these ones on the side to get the perfect height for now. Um, is that going to be a good enough height? Like that could be, might be too low. Honestly, that might be too low. So I'm thinking maybe we'll just take one more off. And, um, oh, rip. And, come on. There we go. I'm going to take one more layer off. And then this should be pretty solid all the way across. I'm going to go grab some birch now and see. But basically, I'm going to basically have it, like, plateau. Like, have it go straight off and then wedges to end. Almost like almost like housing shingles, I think, is kind of what I want. Um, I didn't really take into account the garage. Like, I should have probably thought about that before I was doing the archway. But as long as I don't destroy any more wedges, we shouldn't be all that wasteful. And I should be able to use everything. So, I could use a large floor, actually, if we really wanted to save on some wood like instead of walls i could just use flow that's quite large let's try to use maybe a large tile um oh come on lag yeah that could that could save us a ton of wood and i want to say this might be hard to i might need a kind of scaffolding this so like this is gonna be t oh wait wait no it's this one right here so here's what i'll do here's what i'll do i'll go come on come on boom does that look like it's lined up okay that looks like it's lined up pretty perfectly I think. I can't tell because tiles are so skinny. Uh, yeah, it's lined up. It, it should be lined up absolutely. I can't tell like 100%. I want to be like 100% sure on this. Yes. Okay, it is 100% lined up. Okay, perfect. So now I'll come up here and move the rest of these wedges, and I'll basically place a large tile like that right next to it. So I'm not going to ever be filling that tile in. I'm just going to be using it as like a little scaffolding so I can place the other ones. So we're going to move that and move that and... Oh. Okay, sick lag game. Sick lag game. Um, snag and snag this thing over here. Okay, so I'm not sure how much wood these things take, but I'm assuming that we'll be able to at least get a line of them all the way over to the garage. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. So let's go over here, snag a large tile. I just want to get this guy in place. These tiles are going to be so hard to maneuver, dudes. And by so hard to maneuver, I mean, we, we, we nailed it. <laughs> okay, so that should be pretty solid. Now, I'm probably going to have to fill these dudes on the ground. How much wood do you take? 14. I'm not even sure, like, how much that is anymore. How much do the wedges take? That's the real question. Let's go ahead and take these dudes, 2 by 4 You take the... Wow, so it takes about the same... Wow, can you believe that? That's how much these stupid wedges take. Like, this should fill it up or get close. Hmm. That's how much these wedges take. Like, these wedges take so much wood. You dudes have no... You dudes has no idea. It's so frustrating. I'm just going to take this bad boy and we'll fill in our our floor here. Or, you know what I actually might... No, no, let's just, let's just be simple here. Let's be simple here. Okay, fill in, and I'm going to take you, and I'm going to move you in line. This These tiles, man, are so skinny. Is that lined up perfectly? No, of course not. 
course not, dudes. The game can never give me a break. Come on now. These tiles are going to be a pain to move. Holy cow. Give me that. Give me that. Give me some of that. Give me that. And lined up perfectly. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and delete the... Don't fall. I'm going to delete the... Or I can actually just move it down to here. Um, interesting. <laughs> uh, on my head, boys. Okay, place and done okay and we'll go over and we'll snag some more wood and we'll fill these bad boys in so this should like we don't have that much birch on us right now we'll use up all of our birch watch this this is this is some og efficiency right here boom and boom and one more big piece like that i don't know maybe we'll snag this little guy too um but yeah so this is gonna be i'm hoping we have enough birch just to get the tiles over to the um to the other side so, like, just, just to get it over to the garage. And if it gets over to the garage, then we should kind of have an idea about how much birch we're going to need for, like, all the rows. And then maybe we'll even be able to place some of the wedges back down um, and kind of give, like, that shingle effect. But also, I, I'm kind of hesitant to do that because I'm going to have to remove them anyway to place the, the panels back in because the panels came glitched. And that'll be a big pain if every time a panel comes glitched out, like, I'm going to have to, like, remove everything to place it back. That's kind of the flaw in this system. Like, it is a cool system. Um, this whole garage thing, but there are some flaws. There's flaws in everything in Lumber Tycoon, and it's honestly just like the odds you want to play. Like, like which one is going to be less flawed? Okay, come on. Why is it so hard to jump up there? All right, now this should fit in quite perfectly. I'm hoping. Work with me. What if I go on here? Oh, there we go. Boom, nailed it. Okay, so that looks pretty solid. And then we'll just kind of take this guy. We'll put you back on the ground. I don't know if I'm going to have enough birch, dudes. Like, this is close, but not really, and that's not going to do it. Why don't we do something super risky here and do one of these guys? It's not risky. I'm just... Oh, I was like, I was like, is that not chopping? Man, dude, lava wood. I haven't cut lava wood in a while. I love using the fire axe, dude. Thing goes hard. Okay, boom. That should be 100. There we go. Interesting. Interesting. I'll take it, though. Free birch. I'll take it. Okay, let's see if I can get this guy up here perfectly. Boom, we're pros. Okay, and I think one more might get us there. So we might have enough, dudes. Um, what is this, in other? No, it's in floors. Whoop. It's in floors. Where's floors? Right there. All right, this might be quite perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Does that fit legit perfectly? I'm, like, moving my neck, even though it does not help at all. Yeah, dude, that's... Ooh, it's a little bit higher, but that's fine. I think we want it a little bit higher because if it was flush, then we might run into some issues with dropping these panels in. So I think that that's that, that should be fine. But I'm just kind of worried about um, maybe whoop, destroy that. Maybe um, maybe it's noticeable underneath. Like we might have to place like some posts or something. And that's not a, that's not that big of a deal. Like putting a post or two is not that big of a deal to kind of hide it. Um, we kind of had to do that over there on the other balcony thing, like that thing over there. We kind of had to do that, but. That's fine. This should be an... I'm gonna... Might as well take this dude with me, but I don't think I'm gonna need him. Because we do have that other little post over... Or that other little piece over here. So we're gonna drop that dude. What is that? 69? Okay. Actually, we might need all of them. I don't know. I mean, we could just use more lava, but... We should be solid with this. Go ahead and drop that bad boy in there. Okay. Didn't give me the bounce I wanted. Yeah. Okay, we might still need lava with all these dudes. Put you down. What's that put us at? Eight? No, we're good. We're solid. We're solid! There we go, boys. Okay. I hope this doesn't look too weird, by the way. I don't think it will, but I didn't really, I didn't really think about it when, um, when I was kind of thinking about the strategy for this. Okay, boom. Okay, there we go. So that should be, that should be pretty solid. I kind of like how it plateaus out a little bit, and then yeah, oh, it doesn't even go over, so we can even drop them in from up here. That's kind of nice. Um, yeah, so it does give you a pretty significant gap, but that's fine. We can put some posts. We can hide it pretty easily. Like, look, I'll show you guys with a post right now because we have a post literally sitting over here. I've been waiting to use because I just haven't found a use for it. It's been getting in the way. I keep thinking it's just like regular wood, but it's an actual post. Okay, we'll come over here, snag that. Hopefully, also by next episode, dudes, um, I'll be able to um, update the, the walnut wood in front of the base for the accents to the spook wood. Or whatever that thing's called. I think it's spookwood. I always forget, dudes. But um, I think I should be able to do that. I don't know. Um, that's something that's just going to kind of just be when I'm like, oh, I have nothing to do. Might as well just do that. Yeah, so look at this. This will work, should work, pretty perfectly. I don't know if that's lined up to the to the ceiling. I feel like it's lined up to the wall. It is lined up to the wall. Gosh dang it. So now i got to go up here and move this bad boy. But, I mean, you get the point. Like, it's going to eventually, hopefully, eventually 
um, work for us. So let's go ahead and snag that. See if we can place it up here. Where you at? Where you at? There you are. There we go. Yeah, so that'll work just like that. I want it to be, like, completely flush, though. Uh, I hate placing blueprints in this game. It's literally one of my least favorite. There we go. Yeah, so that looks fine. And it honestly gives a little bit of an artsy feel to it because you're going to have, like, these these posts going all the way across and kind of giving it, like, a cool little thing. I don't know. It's just something to kind of hide in. I think it'll look it'll, it'll end up looking all right. Okay, so now that we have that, um, what we're going to do is basically take one of these dudes and move him around. Uh, flip, 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 flip. Where you at? One more. There we go. Okay, we're going to basically move him. I'm thinking like this. Let's see. It goes up that high. So if anything, we could do one of those. And that looks, that looks flush. That looks flush. So then that way, we got like little shingles hanging out over here. This guy comes over here like that. And so it'll just be flush. And I can even put in like some tiles to kind of cover that gap up there. Um, once I get the, the panels sunk in, but that'll just kind of take a little while. I got to get those panels in there, which will be a pain. But then shingles coming over here. And then it kind of like continues the archway. And I think it'll look pretty good. I think we'll be pretty solid. And then we can even put, like, some grass right here. Like, we can kind of remove these guys. Put some grass right here so it's not like, like we're a blocky feel to it. Because these things will have grass. Like, that that little one by one right there will have grass all the way. So then we can even put a little grass patch right here. Grass patch over here. I don't know. Maybe we'll make, like, some poles or something. I don't know. We'll do something over there. But it will. It should look pretty good once it's all done. I just kind of want to give you guys, like, a template of what it's going to kind of look like. Um, and that's kind of what, uh, what, what, what we're looking at right now. I can even move those wedges even more. Like, I can even put these things... All the way around, but we are gonna have some excess wedges, which is gonna be sick for when we start the next archway, because we're gonna basically have less less wedges to do on that archway, which will be super helpful. Because I hate making these stupid wedges, dude. But these things will go all the way around just like that, and we'll be good to go. But I think that's what I'm gonna call it for today, dudes. Again, cool party, man. One, two, three, epic freaking base, dude. That was like a massive base. That's got to be one of the biggest bases I've ever seen in Lumber Tycoon. So thank you so much for letting me showcase that. I hope you dudes enjoyed. I hope you dudes got some ideas from him, um, building some cool stuff. That's the way I kind of like to I like to think about it. When you see other people's base on Lumber Tycoon, you're pretty much just, you're all just building off each other. Just building ideas, kind of building some cool stuff. So, hopefully you guys got some cool ideas. But that is going to do it for today, dudes. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. And until next time, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you be fly and subscribe.